I've been in class my whole life. I don't want to be in class anymore. I need to be on a set. I need to be here learning this because I know that I can do so much better. Gabby, Jessica, Sierra, Ty, Lana, welcome to the Grand Ballroom. We asked all of you to deliver a compelling and exciting performance in a teaser for Kiss of the Devil. Four of you will move on and get closer to your dream of becoming a scream queen and land a role in Saw 3D. However, one of you will be getting the axe and be going home for good. John, Tim, and I reviewed your teasers from the Director's Challenge and decided that the five of you represent the strongest and the weakest. Jessica, Ty, please step forward. Jessica, I thought you were great in this. You're so natural. Thank you. Jessica, you did something in the second scene that no one else did. Instead of being frightened, you came in very playful, which really gave you somewhere to go with your performance. Why'd you run off like that? Oh my God. Thank you. Our class, our time together, all I can say is you were consistently terrific throughout. Ty, there was energy that you brought that carried through your scene. How are you? Pumped. That was boring. Let's do it. That's the exact attitude I want to hear. You were the only one who showed up who didn't look in a zone, but yet when I said action, you immediately went there. I appreciated the ability to walk in, do your job, walk out. So, you two are both up here for the same reason. You two are both the best performers of the week. Give it to me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of you can be leading lady. So let's take a look at the teaser to see who that is. I am so ready for tonight, and I think you're gonna like what you see. <laughs> Why'd you run off like that? Oh my God. What are you hiding from? Come on and fight! <laughs> oh, wow. You're this week's leading lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Both of you can step to the side. Gabby, please step forward. You have a guaranteed call back thanks to your win in the skills test. But that being said, we still want to speak to you. Gabby, if I had to decide based on your performance in the director's challenge, yeah. you'd be the one going home. One of the things was your inability to wait for me to say action. So much so that at one point you opened the door early and whacked the guy with a clapboard. Oh my God. And wait for the action. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Normally, that would be time to call your agent and replace you. Mm -hmm. It's like you internally travel to a place where I can't connect to you. We kid about it, but there's Gabby Land. A demon hand is coming through the wall, raking through the wall, and grabbing your shoulder, and you're going to scream. When you come to work, listen to your director no matter what. Come on, we're pros here. All right? Okay. I'm disappointed in myself, and I did feel disconnected, and I apologize. Gabby, you can step to the side. Sierra, Lana, please step forward. You were both summoned here tonight because of your performances as well. Unfortunately, guys, it's not a great thing. One of you will be getting the axe tonight. Sierra, Lana, one of you will be getting the axe tonight. Lana, you are an absolutely beautiful young lady. If this was a beauty pageant, I would have given you first place. But as I said, a scream queen is more than just the surface. What are you hiding from? There's got to be a lot of layers and levels underneath. And I just didn't feel that as much as I was trying, I was able to peel any of those layers away. You've got to study your craft, OK? Pretty much all I've ever done is study my craft. So I hope I have the opportunity to show you those layers, they're there, all of them. It's not about how much you've studied. It's about how much you've learned. 
But I wonder if there's some part of you that's afraid to shake it off and just let yourself be real and raw and vulnerable. I feel like you bring a quarter of yourself to your performances, thinking this is how I'm supposed to present myself to the world, rather than be like, screw the world, this is who I am. Yeah. Sierra. You're here to be the Scream Queen, not the girl who makes fun of the Scream Queen and gets killed. But that's who I would cast you as after you're overacting in the director's challenge. You're gonna like what you see. And the wet dream moaning you did in the first night skills test. <sighs> you need to tone all of it down, your look and your acting. You've got such a very specific look. When you walk into a room to be cast for a studio film, trust me, I love working with studios, but sometimes they don't have a lot of creativity. So they're gonna see you with a lot of eyeliner and a lot of makeup and the whole to-do and they'll be like, mm, pass. Why are you crying, Sierra? <laughs> if it's like my look, I'd be willing to do, change my look, anything. I really do have a lot to offer. And I wanna show you guys more. It's not a question of being willing to change your look for us. Yeah. I need you to trust you, like you did in my class. You were great at accessing rage when you trusted yourself. <laughs> but to continue to try to change this outside or put this face on to please others, it's just too much. Sierra, you have trouble with overacting. And Lana, you wall yourself off from your genuine emotions. And now, ladies, I'm sorry to say, but the journey is about to end for one of you. Sierra? You get a call back. I don't know why. <laughs> Lana, you get the axe. Goodbye, and good luck. Thank you. I am disappointed that I didn't get the opportunity to show the world who I am as an actress. So I felt really ready emotionally before I got on set. I did. And it's just something about when I got there, it just threw me off. I can't let this experience be what's going to deter me. I've had people tell me no before, and I'll keep doing it. It's what I love. It's what I know. And it's not the end. This season on Screen Queens, nine actresses remain, all competing for a shot at stardom. You have totally shaken up this competition. For the next seven weeks, they will endure the most brutal challenges. Lots of maggots tomorrow. We're dealing with real explosives. Get ready for a bloodsucker battle royale. Designed to push them to the edge, both physically and emotionally. I'm so mad that I can't even feel anything. Preparing them for a breakout role in Saw 3D with the prize of a lifetime in their grasp. Who will possess both the talent You're so awesome. and the drive I have so much more in me. to become a movie star. You knew what you signed up for. This is a competition. Deal with it. Their path to stardom won't be easy. Don't Stop. But for one actress, this could make or break me. The journey will end in triumph when she is crowned horror's next scream queen. Get out of here.